What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And today we're going to be taking a look at a new release, 2021 Bowman Inception. And we are a little bit late to the party, but work has been a little hectic here lately. But here it is. This is going to be my first look at it. I did buy into a break and ended up doing pretty good. Believe it or not, my luck in breaks has been pretty rough lately. But uh, here it is, man. They have... I don't want to, I want to say about five or six years this has not been around. You know, they originally had Bowman Inception, and then the Tops name ended up getting it. And we've had Tops Inception now for the past three or four years. Well, this year they had Tops Inception, and now they are bringing back Bowman Inception. Uh, it's not expensive, and... It's going to be one of those sets, guys, that you either love it or hate it. It's got a a kind of a theme to it that's not going to fit all genres, if you want to say it like that. It's, I mean, you can see the box. It's got a lot of art to it, and that's kind of what the base cards look like. I mean, paint splash, a bunch of colors. That's just how it is. In this box, we're going to be getting two on-card autographs. They are on-card. So not bad. At $140, it's not terrible. I'm curious to see how the resale is going to be. I haven't looked on eBay to see what these are selling for. Now, they're not going to sell nowhere close to the regular first Bowman Chromes of these guys. But there's the odds. Not a ton of different colors. You know, it's kind of simple. You know, you got some parallels and a few different autographs, and that's it. Uh, the autograph checklist is pretty big i mean it's not as big as some of the sets that come out these days but it is pretty big and it's going to feature most of the guys in the checklist is going to be from last year's draft and this year's bowman and bowman chrome now don't quote me but i want to say that julio rodriguez has autos there is some autos from further back so it's not just the last couple years guys in this set so you can pull some really nice things and guys, this is it. Seven cards per box. Two autographs. Not going to be a long rip. Let's stop wasting time and see what we're going to find, y'all. And I'm curious to hear y'all's thoughts, like always. What do y'all think of it? And it does look, you know, pretty similar to the earlier in the year tops Inception. And, uh... That is a look at a base card. We'll set it down and get a little good look of it. Cade Cavalli, he was a first-round draft pick in 2020 for the Nationals. The back of it, you got a year of the stats, a write-up, and that's pretty much it. And I think this up here kind of insigniates their first Inception card. So I don't know if that's a thing or not. I think I had read that in a checklist. So let's go through it, y'all. See what we can find. We got a Cade Cavalli. There's a nice Nick Gonzalez, another guy from last year's draft. He's going to be really good. Top five pick. And a nice Luis Rodriguez. So there it actually is, guys. Initiation. So I guess, I mean, technically these guys do not have Bowman Inception cards, so... To me, these guys should have had it as well. Pretty much everybody should have had it. But I guess they're saying since he is a prospect of this year, that's why they did that. Well, let's come off the back, guys, and see what this parallel is going to be. Oh, Blue Jays, Austin Martin. No, I thought it was going to be him. Miguel, uh, Manuel Beltre. And I don't know if that's numbered or not. Man, I thought that was uh, Martin. And I don't know if they have uh, image variations, guys, or what. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into that because usually the parallels were off of the back. So I'm going to have to do some digging into that. And if y'all know, let me know. I know there's some card hobbyist gurus out there. Our next card looks like a purple going to the Atlanta Braves. Jared Schuster, so nothing. T oh, man, that's going to be the dang old auto. So our first auto ain't hitting on a whole lot, to be honest with you. It's going to be out of 600, Jared Schuster. 
And our luck with these pitchers keeps continuing on, guys. Doesn't really tell you when he was drafted. I want to say he was a late first or early second round pick last year, if I remember right. Might have been Jesse Franklin. And our next auto is going to be a Gage Workman. We still got one more card. I'm not sure what that is. And he was from uh, 2020. Bowman draft. This one's also out of 600. And let's see if this is just a parallel. Boston Red Sox. How about a three auto box? Mr. Miguel Blaze in one of our most recent sets from Bowman Chrome. One of the guys you want. From the Boston Red Sox, 26 of 50. And I don't remember exactly what they call this one. We can get the box and look right here. I don't know if that, I don't even know how to say that. Primordial, I'm going to say that might be what it is. Primordial autograph. There it is, guys. We ended up getting an extra hit. Check that out. Only guaranteed two autographs a box. And that is it, y'all. Not a bad rip. I thought for a, spec or a second there we was going to get all pitchers, but Jared Schuster, Gage Workman is not a bad player at all, and a very nice Miguel Blaze out of 50. And I need to do some digging under this uh, Manuel Beltre. It was off the back. I don't know because it does look different, unless that's a sky blue or something. I don't see any numbering on it. But guys, that's it. Let me know what y'all did. I'm curious to hear y'all's thoughts on it. If you don't mind, please leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.